Hey guys, Silver Soul Games here. Here today with another episode of I almost said Super Mario Galaxy. Um, it was another episode of Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. It's not like I did before. You know, prior to this, I remember saying Super Mario, Super Paper Mario. Now I'm saying Super. I'm gonna be saying. You know, I'm surprised you never said Luigi Mansion during this. Because guess what? It's a massive I'm difference. Not for, I'm not remembering anything. That's a massive difference. Thanks, Josiel. By the way, if you want to know how to get back to Barbary normally, just in case you guys also forgotten about life and death, life like I did. Over here. Apparently, there's also a cool chair over here that we did not get prior. Like a box. And you. Good afternoon to you, sir. I'm called Crazy, the Trouble Machine. I spend my days here as leisure, spinning tales of Cinderella princes. I know but a few stories that hit on the town of Rockport. If you like, I could share them with you, but it will require just a few coins. If they are so you like to hear now, the tales I can show you now. The Fears of the Demon. There are mere five coins I can show you with this sweet from to you now. Ages ago, a city flourished here in peace and slumber, but it was destroyed in a single day by a demon from a the dark beyond. The story has claimed a great calamity befell the city, but nay, to walk the demon. The city sank below the ground, and in one quarter of the year, of the old city became the demon's den. The demon put a fear into the heart of all men, sent out minions to search the land. And then, its palace grew rich with treasures stolen from over the world. In order to increase its already formidable power, the demon created crystal stars for the essence of the heavens. One of these stars was placed in the east council to exert the demon's influence. One of the castles was brought to the count to the council and these stars still stand in front of another. This is another one sec. For a mere five coins I can show you this tale of the hero who arose. One day there came a hero who could vanquish the fell demon. The young child from Petal Meadows was strong with an uh, arm, but shy of voice. All around the boy teased him endlessly fine. about the sure way he thought. But when a demon cast his fearful gaze across the land and reached out, the young child used his strength and arm to defend the future, and he became a hero to all despite his odd voice. It was a wise Goomba from Boogly Woods, gifted in knowledge of this world. When the beast rose to take the woods, the knowledge helped the people fight them. So then this Goomba, who knew the way that every monster would attack, she began to think of a way to back our monsters in the land. A group who traveled the world alone learned of the darkness covering the land. They went alone whenever evil dwelt and vanished from the sail and sheer bravado. The monster grew to fear just scar with a trooper who thwarted them every turn. But the brave trooper was finally taken in the trap set for him by the monsters. But then a boot who fought with the monsters came and used her magic to free him. The brave trooper's spirit had melted the hearts of the cold brood lads. The Boo used, used her powerful magic to learn more about the evil they faced. You cannot destroy this darkness alone. You must find it in the face of the world you know. We need to tell the hero of Petal Meadows and the wise Goomba of Boggly Woods. The Boo's magic drew the four heroes together to send the demon from the world. And so the four heroes wanted to set out for the Palace of Shadows. The power of the world devouring demon was greater than any could imagine. But the wise Goomba soon realized that it was the power of the crystal stars. He thought of a way to take the stars and use them against the demon. He thought he told the other heroes his plan and set in motion back in their fears. The boo's magic and child's strength created a gap in the demon's defenses. At the moment the brave trooper seized the stars and defeated and badly damaging the demon.
But even the brave scoop of syrup was not enough to end the demon's reign. The wise Juma thought of another use for the paper flowers in the dire hour. He had set his seed in the demons forever with the sacred flowers. All had bloomed. The heroes and actors went the power of the paper flowers, and they successfully sealed the demon's soul within the deepest part of the palace. Like that, they may have said only all seven flowers to break the seal. Why would they have a way to break seal? Because there has to be a story. After the demon was sealed within the palace of Shadow, many of people come near the palace of Shadow. But as the years passed, entire generations were dropped, and the penniless and the remora began to congregate in the once barren palace. This place soon became the castle-less harbor that Shadow had heard about. And some even began to suspect that the underground city held a legendary treasure, but they were unaware that the demon slept beneath them still. We're done. Alright, everything evil that has to do with the crystal stars, don't collect the stupid thing. Yeah, now we just collected one, we don't even have to give it to that, do we? Do I have enough? Oh, hey, Miss Mouse! You forgot you had her, didn't you? I did too. Charles to me! Charles to me! Deal. Yeah. I want you to give him the least epic voice ever next time. It's really nice. Really like it. Do what Chicken Conroy did to Magalor. Give him a freaking Elmo voice. In you go. <laughs> like this. Stop. So we learned about the Lord's place. Okay, I got class in my own gonna go. Dress up as my man. Stay tuned right now, sweetie. No fucking shit. I wonder what's in there. Give me back my sleep. I will. You need to go fast. I knew you would get bubbly and roar, you wonderful mustache man, you. To you, I must say, ahoy! I was wise to choose you as my captain. Ahoy to me as well. I forgot you were gay. My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errands to get aboard at once, what do you say? Shall we set sail? Yeah, yeah let's go uh, off. Not yet. <laughs> Dang, I don't want to stay here longer. Very well, to the sea. Rise anchor and the sail. For today was an emotion. And romance and money are just an ancient thread. King Hawk here. Wait up! <laughs> what about those two back there? I was like, yeah, I wonder oh, who that is. Oh, hey, I wonder who's at the ship to see. Hmm. Wonder, wonder who Superman is. Did like not one here. Come back, dude. I repeat, like not one over here. Here, over. Roger, reading you five by infiltrating is this infiltration is successful. X not black aboard vessel. Repeat, X not black is aboard the vessel. Aboard, aboard, aboard. Get it, bad guy sneaked on. Let magic reign free as this occurs at mid episode. You realize you didn't get rid of the friggin' black border. Hey guys, look! It's no it's sixteen by nine now. Chapter it's five the, the key to the pirates. Hmm. 
month star Dang Exo over the process of my crew. The SS Falarion has stood still. Is this void as reckless as they say? Ah! I'm a Scot! Barbio will show them guts! Monster Day accept. Another day of good winds, white clouds, and saints dazzle me. It is as if they are blessing our voyage. Flavio thanks them most heartedly. XX, Dr. Wally's trying to take over the world again. Monster Day X music note. Things are going smoothly. Can I get filled with dread? At a speed, we shall reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. Call a captain, has his gauge, red jewels, size and place, bombast a boom, festival, the side brothers, best of friends, three times red star slams on its end, blue star valley, four times west. So let's hear those fireworks go. Boom. As a boom, bass, a boom. Festival. What the fuck did I just do back there? <laughs> what is the definition of cringe, Josio? Never again. <laughs> I, I don't know what the fuck I did there. Cringe. You made freaking cringe material. If you make a, I swear, if you, I, 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 I remember, I remember, I said I give you full permission to make compilations of my YouTube videos. I give you full permission, but I swear to God, make a cringe compilation. I will still give you permission, but I'm still going to be slightly upset that you did it. Oh, sorry, sorry. Make your seals look like the cringest piece of garbage in the world. Isn't that what I'm already doing to myself by just making YouTube videos? Exactly. And people are going to compile it all together into a cluster. <laughs> yes, now we are talking. Flavio told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, oh, no? God, get <laughs> the island is right there before your eyes. You not see it? It's a mountain of treasure. Dude, that's your dick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, ho, I feel fabulous. Shall I tell you one of my many tales of wild bravery? No, we don't want to know how you lost your virginity to a gay guy in the black corner of the street. Feel stop. No, it's not trouble at all. There was I, there was I, there I was, locked in a deadly combat with a sea serpent. I don't want to know about this anymore. <laughs> yes, but even That's then I smiled. Well, I knew that I prepared. Great story again. A tale of bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. My name is Love. He was a giant. It was a giant monster, but he didn't break on man either. <laughs> read, read the other guys. I can take him, yes. Uh, where was I? Read the other guys. Oh, yes, yes. Anything yes, else? But like, even then I smiled. For I'm a bear. Read your guy. I will say a beast lit. For I am Flavio. No one who escapes I you. Please have to listen to until he's finished. Now, you know. I could tell. Uh, the story of half of your was I? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, but even the then story I smiled. But I didn't know for that. For I am Flavio. Like you. What was a giant master? A huge man eater. But what? even now, you know. Wait, what's going on here? The stop it. Good. Who was I? Oh, yes, yes. Then even with a nice smile, for I knew I was a bear. Also I wanted not to be split. For even with a nice smile, I was a giant master, a huge man-eater. I stuck dick in the back corner of our Solanos. Uh, oh, eh? What's going on here? Huh? Stop, you say. You mean after interrupting a story of passion and fury? Why, it's your job to keep the ship moving, yes? Hmm? So take care of it. Wasn't it my fault, sir, I promise. I keep reading the code? Not reading it. Oh, alright, Flavio, I'll get I on it. Read it. Also, I didn't realize it was a freaking code. <laughs> yeah, but can you. It, wait, would I have to read, like, characters and going on a tangent? Please read other things, please, for me. I didn't, uh, I didn't realize that Toad was talking about it, so we have to be the one Toad who speaks like an actual freaking person. <laughs> the only Toad. Who smoked oh. cigarettes for like 50 years. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a Goomba stopping moment, you scallywags. 
Oh, Alright, quit shoving, eh? Yeah. I'm working over here. I said quit shoving! <laughs> He's gonna blow! No, 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 Oh, give me a moment. I think I got, I got a good idea of what to do here. It's gonna be really dumb, but at the same time, I live for stupid stuff. Exactly. Welcome to your life. Now, that was what I'm called for. No, not that. I live for the stupidest of shit, and you know this. <laughs> because you're Joe Steele, king of stupid. <gasps> you fuck! <laughs> I, am I wrong? Yes, you are completely wrong, sir. <laughs> or really, am I right, and you're just doing one with me? I refuse to answer or deny these ask these allegations. <laughs> I refuse to answer or deny. Wait a minute, wouldn't that be exactly the opposite of each other? Deny it, you answer it. If you don't answer it, you do not deny it. Um, I don't get it. Oh, you aren't. What's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, the clusterfuck. I'm certainly not trying to uh, get my voice changed up. <laughs> voice changer, who needs a voice changer? <laughs> You're telling Look, we don't know what to do ourselves. We're just living our life here. There's some Mario 64 DS. Oh, I'll get to that with these. I'll get to that with these. Thing we're having some problems with encoding issues because the internet is lag. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it, voice mod. Oh. Yeah. oh. oh. What? What's going on? Everything's lagging, I'm so sorry. Dad, what's going on, Dad? Dad. So you're lagging everything. I know, I, I accidentally, I, I'm tabbing up. Oh, but yes, do something that's urgent. Of urgent matters that is urgent. You're talking, I cannot hear you. I don't understand you. So everything's dying. Just so I, ca I cannot hear you. Well, you can't hear me anymore. That's good. Of course, audio just died because of your. Uh, no, no, no! You're upon us. The pirate ghost. So I, uh, the I rumors were true. Right oh, oh, what do we do? We gotta get out of here. Sure, ah! how hard the ship is. I cannot hear you. I can only see Did the game. Panic yourself. This is a dream that we're that we're having awake. Is it that I'm, I'm sorry, but I cannot hear a single word that's going on. I'm just looking on the Discord screen. No, 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 quickly. Move the boat. The game. But I cannot hear it. Uh, 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 a stupid voice changer. Oh, God, Lily. Are you ready to stop the Pirate King? Hey, help me. Buckle up everyone! Remain civilized! Relax! Don't panic! 
Relax, relax, relax. I say, you must simply take it easy. Uh, what? Ah! Excuse me, listen, everyone. Bring we can out. form an orderly line without shoving. But if that make a pass. Bobby, look alive, man! Ah! You must get out of here! Abandon ship! Every rich mob in this mansion for himself!